Good morning, mini truckers. Beautiful day. Got up this hat. I found it in one of the trucks. JDM. That means Japanese domestic market. So it came straight from Japan. I've got this Acti Attack. So it's pronounced attack and it's pronounced Acti. It's short for activity. You can do a lot of stuff with these. Any activity you want, pretty much. So this one just came from the port. I picked it up yesterday. I tried to go pick it up on Friday, uh, but the port was closed. We couldn't do anything there, but beautiful, beautiful truck. This is what makes me happy. I mean, listen to this. I don't know if you can hear those birds chirping. We've got a beautiful mini truck. Just came in. Little to no reconditioning. Sometimes you see like, uh, you know, wear and kind of some rust here, but this one really good. It has the chains. I never really see the chains very often. That one has the chains too, but. And then we go inside and uh, door panel in good shape. Seat, no, rip no rips, no repairs needed. What I've seen on the working ones is they put a reflector here. I think that's because when, you know, if you were driving, I'll show you real quick from the outside. It didn't make sense to me at first, but when I see it like that, if you had a reflector there, it's gonna be safer. Uh, the clear headlights, you can see as they age, they kind of start looking a little more like this. You can polish them. I try to use that uh, windshield cleaner, the uh, polish, but uh, I mean, you can see the difference in these. So this is the Acti Attack. It's got the ultra low first or ultra low forward and ultra low reverse. It's not designed to go from ultra low to first. It's designed, this would be your first traditionally. And what you have here is a little lockout. So when you pull that up, you can throw it over and you can get into your ultra low reverse or your ultra low forward, sorry, and your ultra low reverse. And it's kind of cool. So watch when I pop it up, it actually pulls that lockout out. So now you're back in the traditional gears. You've got your four speeds and the reverse. This is the uh, directions, how to use your ultra low. They're essentially saying the same thing. Pull up on, on this piece and then put it in. Um, okay, this one actually came. It's a good sign. Maybe it's a bad sign. Came with a fuel filter. So that looks like a used one. That's used, so it must have a new fuel filter. And then I had seen some spark plugs, I thought. And these are the authentic ones. So you can see people in Japan, they don't just put O'Reilly stuff or Bosch. Uh, get you some quality NGK plugs. This is what it's designed for. Okay, so saved me a lot of energy having to pull the plugs. I can look at these. You can learn a lot from these, so uh, if they were real yellow or they had oil coated on them. Uh, this bottom piece, the porcelain, you can see how it starts turning kind of brown there. That's just the combustion kind of seeping out through there. But that one actually looks good. I thought there was some other ones in there. Sorry, this camera's... You can look at all of them. And a lot of times, or most of the trucks, I'll pull one spark plug, and uh, if it looks good, if they're running great, I don't mess with them. So, same thing, this one starts up, idles fine. You know, if there's issues, then we'll get in a little more troubleshooting. So you can definitely see this one has a little more of the uh, kind of combustion leakage, and that's a good sign that they're probably ready to be replaced. So we don't have any idea really when it was done. I can try to look through more of the paperwork. This guy though, he's got his little oil card, so he's probably, uh, here's the Japanese auction. We can look at that, grade 3.5, auction grade C. So this is what, no corrosion. Uh, we've got that, pretty straightforward. Lots of service records. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is beautiful. I'm happy. It's showing 63,000 
miles I'd have to go through and uh, you know look through but I can see on this card let me see if you can see that so I don't know if it has when it was done I better stop filming because I might keep this truck yeah so I came over to this side and I was like holy smokes this has got to be good too good to be true original spare tire tool the jack very rarely do I ever see them with this little cap on there it took me a while to even know there was supposed to be a cap on there and then I reach in here and we got a belt so the belt's been replaced maybe that's the new one but I've got a new belt for it look at this under here that's just how it came beautiful beautiful let's get the spare tire and I guess it is missing these uh, the center cap in the back and I haven't pulled the liner up from underneath I'm just gonna try to use the razor blade now and work on getting all this letters off they paint that stuff on there all right we'll be back so you see this I'm not sure what that says about you know the shifting I something about the this okay, lockout so, you mind if I film here sure so, um, so how you differential lock procedure shifting into UL so that's the ultra low you are okay and how to shift into U L and U R. You just pull this black knob. Yeah. Then you shift. Right. That's what it says. It's not like you couldn't just shift in. Yeah, you can't do it accidentally, so it has the so lockout. You, yeah, you actually have to pull this black plastic uh, yeah. top. Then Okay, Mini Truckers, one other thing I want to show you on the Acti Attack is this is your push button locking uh, differential. I don't have the key on this one, but you do get an indication on the dash. Where is it? Oh, no, you don't get an indication on the dash. This thing is backlit green. So your rear bed light is here, it's backlit orange, and then this one's backlit green. All right, this is the second attack I've got. It's uh, the other one's already sold. But this is the brother that came with it. Pretty rad. I love these things. Alright, have a good one. Hopefully this helps. Use some mini trucks. Stay mini. Take care.